the Federal Reserve. I can talk about how horrible she is all day, what a con woman she is all day. But it's fun to call her a chupacabra. Leanne, you do not look well, like a chupacabra. True. It's truth news. You look, you look like the uh, in the last two Lord of the Rings uh, Hobbit series, the uh, <laughs> Hobbit, the uh, the elf woman. Oh, hold on, let me do my ears. But you look, elf. but you look better than her. There we go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Leanne is actually a wood elf. See? See, there you go. You put a little point on there. Can we put up uh, wood elf? There we go. The the beautiful wood elf <laughs> from the Hobbit. And we will have Leanne. Can we find her online? She's got red hair. If you gave Leanne red hair and a little pointed ear apparatus, you would actually have it. All right, I'm going to shut pointed, up and phone calls. Pointed ear. Leanne McAdoo starring in The Hobbit. <laughs> Who knew, ladies and gentlemen? Well, get, get a green screen, you know. We, we got to turn that studio into a green screen room. We need to make a reenactment. Travis Knight will be Donald Trump because he's already got the hair. Absolutely. Listen, <laughs> I didn't think of that. We have, don't tell him a secret. <laughs> you just blew the fact that Donald Trump tried to escape as a young man here. Is why he knows all this and he works for us. And he was actually a guy born in like 1897 in Thomas Edison's lab. And then he came here and he's been here for four years. We've been training him. We're about to send him back to the future to 1942 to then grow up and be the Donald Trump today. That's the master plan. Can we bring the young Donald Trump in here right now? <laughs> Bring in the young. Is Travis Donald here? Trump. Can we can we get the young <laughs> Travis Donald Trumpus Supremus? <laughs> All right, that's enough. See, I start screwing around about on air too much. Hey, uh, Biggs, don't let's not forget. Joe Biggs is going to be announcing the winner of the raffle. I believe he's got to go in and tally all the. Get all the names. Of course, the big secret is is actually the young Donald Trump had a son named Joe Biggs. <laughs> young Donald, she blew your cover, brother. Come on in here. <laughs> Come on over. Here. You, I had you're Donald Trump. He's got the There you epic, go. This is uh, David Knight's son. That's a great job video editing here. No, no, all no. you need is. All you, let me show you. There you, go. there you go. There you go. It's Donald Trump, folks. The young Donald Trump on the show. If you're a radio listener. Well, you got to do the same style as Donald. There you go. There you go. And it's not a wig, is it? No, sir. No, it's, it's not a two. There will be hell to pay. What do you want to say about Rand Paul? Well, he looks ugly and is an idiot. He's an idiot. No, you got to go like this. No, it's no. The look is. <laughs> and you have to say huge. Huge. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. <laughs> there you go. Oh. So, Make yeah. America great again. <laughs> All right, we better get to the calls. I apologize to James and time on and others. Hey, Donald, listen, <laughs> we're trying. We got those scientists from UT over here at the, at the nuclear reactor. <laughs> I think it's time we go ahead and beam you on back to when you were teenagers, you can grow up. But uh, and not I'm putting you in the presidency. Remember, Bill Hicks is putting you in the presidency. <laughs> right, Mr. Hicks. Thank you. Thank you. Good. <laughs> there you go. The truth is out. Bill Hicks actually, I actually invented the time machine. I'm actually Thomas Edison's brother, <laughs> and Donald Trump is my son. So, and then I wanted to have a comedian career, so I beamed back and became Bill Hicks mm -hmm. in the 90s. Yeah. Let's get serious, folks. We're fighting the New World Order. James in Colorado, you're a trooper. You're a patriot. That's why we're going to get your name and number and address and send you a free complimentary Hillary Clinton for prison shirt. So come on down for holding an hour and a half. Thank you, James. You're on the air. Oh, uh, thanks, comrades. I appreciate it. Um, What'd you think about meeting Donald Trump? <laughs> the young Trump. Uh, it was like a clown prince meeting a clown prince, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> He's an evil version of me. But um, <laughs> I was just going to say, you know, I'm I'm physically disabled. I make like $35 a month doing journalism, but I'm still going to send you money. And I hope everyone uh, spends a dollar at least. Well, brother, you don't need to that's, do that. You called I in, and I always want to say if people are not have, of means, they should not be giving. But it seems like it's folks that aren't of means that are giving. The middle class being raped you know, are the ones that should be giving to an organization like this. I didn't know that you were not making a lot of money, my brother. So... We're going to uh, let you get $200 of any merchandise you want. Uh, so give us your name and number, your address. We're going to put you on hold. I'm going to have one of our great operators here at InfoWars call you in the next 20 minutes uh, to send you $200 of any product you want. How's that sound? That sounds insane. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Uh, what else did you call well, in about? Well, first, people should just give away, I think, 10% of their income, no matter how much they make, just to get out of that scarcity mindset. but. I was going to talk about, uh, have you guys heard of Talisman Saber 15? 
Spike Jade Helm. Uh, it's been going on at the same time. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of drills. They're all just a condition. As none of us are saying it's eminent martial law, they say we say that's a discredit us. Yeah, but the weird thing that I read, um, there's a lot of different articles, like the Forts News and different things about the Kazov Battalion training at Fort Carson. You guys have had, uh, uh, in the past, 2013, you put out a video about Russian troops training at Fort Carson. Then you have that uh, sheriff in Spokane. He's, uh, you know, Ozzy Nezovich, that guy. He's uh, like totally with Soros. This, uh, he's a former FBI president of like a group that federalizes police, like a fusion center committee head. It's really creepy. All the uh, foreign troops and uh, the, just the idea of uh, these like white nationalists carrying out false flags, blame Russia, blame patriots, stand on the Gazan flag. Um, you know, I'm half Ukrainian, I'm half Polish. I'm not, you know, <laughs> I don't have a dog in the fight or anything. Um, really, it's Robert E. Lee in Washington, Thomas Jefferson all through uh, Robert E. Lee from a military family. And uh, whatever's going on is, is trouble. And Colorado has more going on than meets the eye. Which look oh, at yeah. operation. oh, I know. And they've got these weird sheriffs going, the Patriots are about to kill everybody. And we got these tanks for them. We're like, wow, don't kill us. I never said that. You lying terrorist. <laughs> yeah. Let me pose on the newspaper trampling the American flag or well, trampling the Patriot flag. And isn't it funny to see how quickly the Black Lives Matter movement got turned into terrorists? Now they're terrorists as well. So it's just so funny to see how easily on either side you can just, oh, well. Well, sure. it shows how they were controlled. They were set up to now bridge the anti-terrorism movement into the American people. And then it'll go from leftist to to conservatives. Mm -hmm. Anyone who wants to stand up and fight the system, and that's why we keep saying, don't fall into the trap of black versus white, left versus right. If we got to fight this thing together, you know. But of course, you're not going to have that when you got the Soros's, the shadow hand, the loving George Soros's. Thank you, James. Great points. Time on. You will be with us live in four minutes on the other side of this quick break of transmission. You're listening to the final hour of 28-hour global transmission. It's the InfoWars War Chest, what we call Operation Money Bomb. We've raised over $715,000 to help fund the next level of a global satellite launch of five hours a day of radio slash TV to the world. Stay with us. The conclusion is straight ahead. We're coming straight on for the globalist. Guarding us is the unknown soldier, Joe Biggs. <laughs> in his red, white, and blue. And he's going to be... Patriot. Rifling off that rifle coming up in the next <laughs> segment. And uh, then I'm going to leave. I'm going to put Anthony Gucciardi in the seat, co-host with Leanne. He's trying to dodge it. He's back there in his office writing articles. But I'm, I want to be on air. But you can only have so much Alex Jones. Because once I've been on air three, four hours, the goofiness begins. Well, people love the goofiness. No, they don't. They want seriousness. And speaking of that, <laughs> time on in Colorado. You're on the air worldwide. Thank you for calling. Hi, Alex. Uh, listen, I want to tell you guys kudos for the great job with this uh, power bomb that you're doing. It's it's just fantastic. Power it's very bomb. informative. <laughs> Thank a you. lot of information and a few laughs in between. So it's really been cool. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Power bomb yeah, seems like yeah. something Megatron would come up with. Power bomb. <laughs> oh, Megatron. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> also, I uh, want to tell you, a longtime viewer and a longtime supporter of InfoWars Life products. Thank They're you. great. Can't say enough about it. Everybody get in on that. It will help you. Okay, getting down to it, I want to tell you, Alex, uh, you and I are simpatico on about 99% of just about everything that you talk about. So excuse me, viewers and listeners, for that. But, but what are we not? in conjunctive orbit about? It's possible that uh, I may be misconstruing your position on religion. I know you're a believer in God and, of course, Jesus. You make that perfectly clear, and that's cool. But uh, from what you were saying about an hour ago, actually, it's a little more than that now, you were saying, my, my inference from what you were saying was that if somebody wasn't in tune with Jesus, that they couldn't possibly conceive of the evil of the globalists and all the horror that's going on in the world and possibly stand... No, what I was saying and, is, is that I think people wake up to the evil in the world, that's going to get them closer to God. That's what I was saying. 
Okay, that's cool too. However, I've been up to the evil in the world for over 20 years, and it hasn't really brought me closer to God. It has brought me maybe closer to a spirituality and a love for my fellow man and the animals we share the world with, but it hasn't brought me any closer to Jesus, and I fancy myself, like I said, 99% on the same page as you, and I wouldn't want us to alienate the 22% of the population that has either no re- religious affiliation or are active atheists. Well, listen, I'm not judging anybody, and I don't think somebody that doesn't believe in God because they don't see the proof is a bad person. The people running the show, though, are into the occult, and they know what they're doing, and I'm ranting and raving for three four hours up here trying to cover this stuff, trying to be honest, so I don't try to hurt anybody's feelings. And as long as somebody isn't hurting somebody else, I'm not you know, out to get them. Uh, so that's what I was getting at is that I don't push religion on people, but a lot of people end up waking up and, and, and seeing that there is spiritual forces out there just because of the issues we cover. I think that's what I was getting at, but God bless you. Time on. Good to hear from you. Thanks for holding. Leanne McAdoo, you got any comments on that? I've heard a lot of people say that, and I, I do agree. I mean, I think you, you we got to have an open heart and we do need to see our you know, our brothers and sisters out there, we're all in this battle together. And it is a spiritual battle, if you believe it or not. And when you expand on it, I'm not criticizing all Muslims. A lot of them are nice people. But the, the more and more dominant element of Islam is, do what we say or we'll chop your head off. And I just don't think that's too liberal. So I wonder why the liberals all seem to think it's so cool. Yeah. Well, I mean... they You can kind of see the hypocrisy there when they, they didn't talk at all about the uh, feminists that protested that um, one Islamic talk where oh she showed up with the top we, off should we beat our wives that was the that was the the ju- the crux of the the ju- the talk there and I've so got to go so honey to a conference yeah <laughs> should we beat our I wives need to see you once and for all but well, I can just tell them of course no, I'm joking I'm joking <laughs> no you should put them in a meat grinder no no I mean, you know it's extremely oppressive it's like yeah. the sexual mutilation all of it and you can argue well that isn't what Islam states or whatever, well, it's what's going on. Well, and it's like what ISIS says, the a very extreme version of that religion is the true version of the religion. And so they have all these young people who are maybe trying to get closer to their God. And so they're thinking they need to, you know, go to the extreme. So. And she said, nobody makes me submit. Right. And then she got kicked by the guy. And they were like, yes, we can beat our wives and topless feminists. And they kicked her, and no, none of the feminists stood up for her. Well, no, they just want to make Biggs take his pants off and wear a hula skirt. And march in high heels. Yeah, they make the military wear hot red high heels. It's about dominating men. <laughs> so really, they're like closet radical Islamists. We're on the march. Exactly. The feminists are basically the just oppressors. A lot of them are into women. A lot of Alex feminists want to dominate the women. GCN right. and that's what they want the men out of the way so they can like smack them around a little bit, you know, yeah. kind of have a duck's ass haircut. Work. All right, we're going to play here in a few minutes this clip of Donald Trump. We've also got a clip of Bush and many smoke marijuana. I mean, who cares? His family's been caught involved in narcotics traffic with the CIA. And then when I leave, Anthony Gucciardi's going to come in here and finish up. Uh, but the big news is the Federal Reserve has announced it's leaving U.S. interest rates unchanged, as we predicted they would do. That's a big deal. And, of course, we knew that was really going to happen when China started letting its, its, its currency drop and everything else. So this, is, this shows inflation uh, and a lot more coming. Of course, we've got free shipping running into tomorrow. Uh, but until this uh, hour ends, we've got 15% off Survival Shield X2, 30% off Super Mail Vitality, uh, 20% off Brain Force, 20% off Silver Bullet, 50% off Deep Cleanse, 15% off Secret 12, 50% off Oxy Powder at InfoWarsStore.com. And it is your purchase at InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com that makes all of this possible. And we're going to continue now until we hit a million dollars. Well, if we don't, we're going to quit Sunday at 6 o'clock when the Sunday 4 to 6 program ends. We're not going to be hammering this tomorrow. We're not going to be hammering it over the weekend. We're not going to be hammering it on Sunday. But a lot of people have emailed us and called us and said, hey, I'm getting paid tomorrow. I'll give you five bucks, ten bucks. I'll buy some products I already need. Love what you're doing. Extend it. Right. Because they want to be part of the money bomb. So because we've gotten hundreds of calls saying that just in the last few hours, we're going to extend it now. And it will end mm -hmm. Sunday, 6 o'clock at the end of that transmission. I want to go to these phone calls now. Mark and Doug. And 
Aaron and Thomas and David and folks that are holding, but I'm going to turn that over to you guys. Joe Biggs, without further ado, uh, go 